good morning students we are discussing the construction of rigid pavement and our today's topic is on the dry in concrete so we'll start the lecture with the first question that what is dry in concrete dry in concrete is a mixture in which the amount of cement we use is less than the amount of liquid that is present in that particular layer it is ideal as a base layer on which the other type of concrete are placed on the top of the layer now it is very good for a flat surface on even on even surface or else we can say on the dirty terrain you can easily provide the dry layer concrete and it works effectively okay. the concrete with a higher water content is considered thin because it has the lower cement concentration that compared to the other types of paving and the building materials it is often used as a patch between bricks and other pieces of infrastructure to create the particular tight seal on that particular layer dry lean concrete burst over the time if it is not correctly applied on the mixed that according to the correct specification the careful preparation is the key to success of dry lean concrete the dry lean concrete is an important part of the modern rigid floors modern rigid pavements it is smooth concrete with a large proportion of aggregate that in relation to the cement than the conventional concrete and is generally used as a base layer or the sub base layer for hard paving surface the dry lean concrete consists of crust sand cement water and sometimes the fly ash the dry lean concrete is a sub base for the concrete pavement the minimum cement content in the dry lean concrete must be less than 150 kg per cube that is cubic meter okay this is the specification coming from the mort in case of a fly ash the material is blended at the site as a part of replacement of the cement and the quantity of that fly ash shall not be more than the 20 percentage by the weight of cement material the content of opc that is ordinary portland cement shall not be less than the 120 kg per cubic meter when the fly ash is used otherwise you cannot use that cement material less than 150 kg per cubic meter the average thickness of dry lean concrete must have the 150 mm that is comparatively equal to the thickness of the sub base or the base layer generally we use now next point that comes in mind that why we use dry lean concrete what is the motto will we get something better from this dry lean concrete yes so we are using this particular material with an advantage the main advantage of using this dry lean concrete as a base layer include the provision of uniform and strong support also the higher resistance to the deformation great efficiency in the load transfer in the particular joints because in the uh, rigid pavement we provide the different joints in particular slabs okay the adequate fixation of the form work and the proper position of the bottom cradles to the semi construction mechanized and the proper position 
of the different mechanized equipments we use for the drilling concrete application. So these are the advantage of drilling concrete. So the next is the preparation of designed drilling concrete mix. Okay. So how we will design this drilling concrete. So for that we have to follow step one that is trial mixes of drilling concrete shall be prepared with the moisture content of different different percentage of cement aggregate ratios and those percentage are 5%, 5.5, 6, 6.5 and 7%. Okay. So, so uh, we can prepare the DLC that is drilling concrete with using this variety of cement aggregate ratio. The next is that optimum moisture content and the density shall be established by preparing the cube with varying moisture contents. In the first, we have used different cement aggregate ratios. After that, we have prepared the cubes with the uh, different different moisture contents. The next is the compaction. Compaction of that mix shall be done in different different three layers with the vibratory hammer that fitted with a square or the rectangular foot. That is depend which kind of hammer you are using. But the compaction shall be done in the three different different layers. Okay. Next is that after establishing the optimum moisture content and the compaction, a set of six cubes shall be cast at a moisture for determination of the compressive strength at seven days and the three days okay now the trial mixture shall be repeated if the strength is not as per the satisfactory either by increasing the cement content or else by using the higher grade of cement okay if you are not getting the proper strength or the stress satisfactory strength in three days and after seven days okay then you can you have to uh, frequently increase the cement content or else you can increase the grade of the cement in that particular mix okay and that's can that's how you can design the proper drilling concrete mix the cube specimen prepared with that desirable moisture content should be satisfied the strength requirement first thing before the production of the mix the natural moisture content of the aggregate should be determined on a day to day basis okay so that the moisture content could be adjusted okay now the final design mix should neither stick to the roller nor become too dry that result in reveling of the surface or that create the cracks on the surface okay the dry in concrete shall be laid on the prepared granular drainage layer okay as we are using this particular uh, concrete on sub base or the base layer okay so obviously that in that particular two layer we provide the drainage layer two so that's why this dlc shall be laid on the prepared granular drainage layer the dry lean concrete sub base shall be overlaid with the concrete pavement only after seven days of the sub base construction now next is after designing the concrete mix how you can apply that dlc on the road surface that is the next step how we can construct or how we can apply the drilling concrete on the surface so for that this five steps to be taken however you have designed this dlc okay as per that design you have to patch and mix that particular materials okay then after you have to transport that material to the site after transporting it to the site you have to place the drying concrete after placing that on the layer you have to compact the top layer 
after the compaction curing has to be taken and after curing you can apply that particular surface or that particular road to the traffic okay so let's uh, discuss detail in this particular preparation in this particular application the first that was batching and mixing now the batching plant shall be capable of separately proportioning each of the material by the weight here in the figure you can see these two silos okay which work as a storing of the different materials we are using for the drying concrete okay now the capacity of this batching and mixing plant shall be at least 25 percent higher than the proposed capacity for the laying arrangements the batching and mixing shall be carried out preferably in a forced action that central batching and the mixing plant having the necessary automatic controls to ensure the curate proportioning and mixing calibration of the batching and mixing plant shall be carried out at the regular interval that normally each and every month okay so frequent calibration will enhance the efficiency that enhance the uh, workability of that particular plant okay so this is how you can batch and mix the material and these are the qualification of batching and mixing plant now the next is after uh, batching and mixing your design is prepared and now you have to uh, transport that mix at the site okay now plant mixed drying mix shall be discharged immediately from the mixture this is the mixture okay and transported directly to the point where it is to be laid and that is our site and protected from the weather by covering with the tarpaulin during the transit here you can see this drum okay the drum surface should be protected with the tarpaulin okay so that whatever mix you have prepared that will not settle down okay till the truck or till this mixture reach at your site and it place or it unload the material on the site now the concrete shall be transported by tipping trucks sufficient in numbers to ensure a continuous supply of material to feed the laying equipment to the work at a uniform speed and a uninterrupted manner okay so wherever you have given the contract for this uh, mixing okay that plant should have the sufficient number of trucks that can transport the material with regular interval okay and at particular time okay otherwise the work may be stopped at the site and that will create very uh, hazardous condition at the site okay so after transporting you have to place the material to the site or on that particular slab okay so for that lean concrete shall be laid by a hydraulic paver the equipment shall be capable of laying the material in one layer in an even manner without segregation so that after the compaction the total thickness can be achieved as per design the laying of the two different lane roads shall be done in full width so that the homogeneous material can be spreaded on that particular slab now for the pavement more than two lanes the operation may be carried out by two pavers separated by appropriate distance of 15 to 20 meters so this is the placing method after placing the compaction has to be performed compaction shall be carried out immediately after the material is laid and labeled in order to ensure thorough compaction 
and rolling shall be continued on the full width. Rolling shall commence on the lower edge of the camber and proceed towards the outer edge. The spreading, compacting and finishing of the lean concrete shall be carried out as rapidly as possible as and the operation shall be arranged so as to ensure that the time between the mixing of the first batch of concrete and the compaction and the finishing of the same layer should not exceed 1.5 over or else we can say the 19 minutes when the temperature of the concrete should be in between 25 degree celsius to the 30 degree celsius okay the next step that is the curing okay now as soon as the dry line concrete surface is achieved after the compaction the curing shall be commenced curing shall be done by covering the surface by hazing clothes in two layers which shall be kept continuously moist for seven days by sprinkling water now if water curing is not possible the curing shall be done by spraying with the liquid curing compound as it shown in the figure the curing compound shall be white pigmented type with the water that retention index of minimum 90 percentage the curing compound shall be sprayed immediately after the lower rolling is completed that means after the completion of the compaction now as soon as the curing compound has lost its tackiness, the surface shall be covered with the wet hessian for three days. And after curing it for the seven days, a necessary taste should be performed on that particular layer. And then, if you found the satisfactory result, the road should be kept open for the trap. And this is how we construct. The dryly concrete surface. I hope students you understand the concept of drying concrete and how we can construct the drying concrete on as a sub base or the base layer. Thank you so much students for your kind attention.